Welcome uh, American Classifieds and Doc Cruces fans. Once again, we are showcasing a uh, local business here in Las Cruces and we are here at American Document Services. And let me tell you, I took a little walk through to this place and I think you're in for an interesting surprise when you go through because it is very deceiving what's up here. They have this great storefront that they just uh, finished, I think, very recently. And you look back and you go, well, it looks pretty big. You have no idea what's actually in here. So we're going to go inside and we're going to look for uh, Rick Jackson and see if we can get him to give us the, uh, the nickel tour of the facility. Meet the staff. Tell you, Rick's a very patriotic person as well. And there's uh, Rick Jackson now. Who let this guy in? I know. I was just telling everybody that they're in for a super big surprise because you and I took a little walk through the place, and people have no idea what actually goes on in here. It's yeah, just want to keep it a secret, but it looks like the secret. Uh, uh, you know what? It, it doesn't need to be a secret. So we're here with the the staff, Hi. and uh, hello, Jackie. How are you? Good in you. Did they tell you you were going to be on video? No. I know. It's always a surprise. And people are like, oh, why do I have to be on video? And then your daughter. How are you today? I'm partner in crime. Good. How are you? April, how's it going today? Good, good. Beautiful good. Windy day. I know. It's That's why I came in so quickly. Usually I'm outside a little bit more, but I opted not to. And then Nikki's on the phone. We have Jody. She's Jody's on the phone. But she's making us money. There you go. Make money, Jody. Make money. <laughs> so, you know, I think when people think about... American documents, or at least I did, because I know I was surprised when you told me some of the things. We all know you shred paper. You shred a lot of paper. Um, but what, what most people don't know is you actually offer some other pretty important services. And, you know, in today's time with technology and the way things go, people's information has to stay secure. Uh, Look who come in. How are you? Hello. I'm well. Good. Now, you weren't excited about doing this live, so I'm going to be like, oh, we're doing it live! No, I'll go, I'll go find a place to get lost in quick. All right, well, so we're going to come pay you a visit in a minute. But, um, you know, it, with today's personal information, you know, you got to keep it safe. you got to keep it secure. It is, it is up to business to be sure that they're securing that information, and legally they have to do that. Mandated by law. So... I know for us at our office, you guys are coming tomorrow to actually do some shredding because I don't even have room, right, to, to do things anymore. Before you run out of room. Exactly. So, so one of the things you guys are going to show us today, we are going to get to see a little bit of the shred in the back because that was kind of fun. But um, you guys do a few things, and that is, one, you scan and keep and give people that information. So, so I got a whole bunch of information, all these kind of files at my office on my customers. You're able to scan all that information and give it back to me digitally, but you guys also keep a copy. We, we keep a copy in our climate control fireproof vaults. Gotcha. And then, on top of that, if I have a lot of paperwork, you guys can store that for us. Absolutely. Great. So, show us around a little bit. Oh, Let's see what's right. going on here. Okay. Uh, I'll tell you what. We'll grab Rob. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go into our scanning operation first. Our scanning operation is... Uh, probably one of the most exciting things that we do. Uh, Rob has really got a well-organized team together. Uh, we recently did a job for a customer in Silver City. Uh, I don't know how many boxes it was, but we never set foot in their property other than to pick it up. Uh, we scanned it here, uh, logged into their, webbed into their database and put it all on their system for them. Yeah, sure, so that was a uh... A million plus scans. Uh, Holy so, cow! I mean, it's a you know fairly sizable job. Um, but uh, but yeah. So if you walk back here and take a look at the equipment that we're using. So this is our scanning bureau, and we have. Uh, you have a big scanner, obviously. Yes, we have a large yeah, there behind format you. scanner. Large format. Uh, so this is Naughty. Uh, Hi, Naughty. Uh, Naughty is working on a wide format scanner, and what we're doing right now is we're scanning some uh, some large scale maps, um, and so we can get up to 44 inches wide on on this guy, uh, and so it really kind of opens the market up for us a little bit in the sense that we're not um, just locked in to being able to do uh, letter or legal size documents. You can do everything, right? So we can get over here and. You know, full spectrum color here, uh, so, it's, so it's nice to have that, that ability. 
So who got to scan in the million copies of paper? Hold on. <laughs> and uh, there was another job that we're currently involved with right now that's uh, probably twice as big as that. Holy cow! Yeah. I just be like oh, 999,001, 990. Yeah, well, they've got some software so on their computers see that tells it. Just does it. I see that. I see it going right there. Yeah. We're not going to show people what it is. So it's... this is our, 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 our desktop operation. Um, this is a uh, production grade scanner here. We can probably punch out, uh, well, depending on the materials, but uh, I think we're averaging about 3,000 images a day. But we could probably get more. Wow. Six, just according to what it is. So, so, uh, Nice machines, real nice machines. Excellent, and so you have multi stations. I see that as we look around the office. Yeah, so in this room, uh, the scanning production is happening. So we're actually capturing images in this room here, uh, and then over here is where we are. Um, as uh, Rick was mentioning earlier, as we are taking these digital images and we are uploading them into um, the systems um, uh, of the client that we're working on. So say we're working uh, for a hospital. And you don't even have to visit the hospital. Records. We have a, a virtual connection from our servers here to whatever hospitals, say in New York, right? right. And we are, are familiarizing ourselves with the documents that we're scanning and we're dropping in, them into the necessary locations that make up, a, say, an electronic health record. Wow. So, yeah. It'll help uh, we just did a scan job uh, for a, a federal job uh, and the person that contacted us was born out of Cincinnati. Yes. Uh, and a sizable job. Uh, but we, we knocked it out, and uh, Robbie and his crew do a great job. And it, it's really amazing what what's done here. This is the easy part. The preparation for scanning is really what takes so long. Getting it all ready. Uh, bending the corners back, taking the staples off, the paper clips, uh, figuring out whether it's duplexed or not. Uh, a lot of work goes in before they actually put the paper on, on the machine to start scanning. Gotcha. Okay, so now you're going to take us back to the part where I walked in. I'm like, oh, oh said about you, you want to go back to the Yeah, I want to do. We want to see that. Okay. So, look at this. So, when I walked in here, the first thing I thought about was Raiders of the Lost Ark. The scene where we're looking, right, for the, uh, what we're trying to see where the, uh, the uh, uh, the the ark is right. We're looking for the ark. This is where they, the government stored it. So so Rick, where's the ark? We know uh, it's in here. What we, we know it, it is. Four minutes or less. And it's going to take you a little longer. So as we walk through, so we're going to walk through the other facility, but we're going to give everybody just a little taste as we walk through. And maybe you're not quite getting this on video, but when you look down, the never-ending rows and height. How many boxes? Uh, well, we have a, 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 about 1.8 million cubic feet of storage. <laughs> wow. So then you go like, oh, well, look, that was a lot of storage. And then we walk through the next room and you go, oh, wait, there's more storage. So this is available. Any business can contract with you. Yes. And they can store all their critical documents. You know, uh, Store, stores, you can, you can put this stuff in a self-storage unit, but a self-storage unit, number one, doesn't have fire suppression. Number two, it's not insect-free. Number three, it's not alarmed directly down the Las Cruces Police Department through Allied. Uh, and you can find it. We can find it cheaper than what you can send someone out to look through numerous boxes or up to a dirty storage shed. You don't have to worry about the workman's comp, somebody getting hurt. Your fi The files are always, we index everything, we know exactly where it is. We can get it. We can deliver it to you just in a matter of hours. Wow. Yeah. We got a pretty powerful um, records tracking software. Yeah. Well, that's what that's and what Rick costs, was saying. Right. What a lot of people know. Well, what's this cost? Less than five dollars a year to store a box. Really? Yeah. Really? No. So instead of me shredding those boxes, and you should have had them stored with me, and I could have just taken. Them well, I hate them. to say this, but we so we moved from one location to the other, and we had all these boxes that we felt were important. So I rented a storage shed because I did not know you did this, sure. and so. We had them in storage for over a year, paying who knows how much. Twice as much. I could store 200 boxes for about half what you And so we moved them to our office, realized that we really don't need bank statements from 1997. Mm -hmm. 
And so now we're going to have you all shred them for us. But yeah, the, the solution really is, and that happens a lot when a business is moving, when, when so they think that they need to store all this stuff in, in the meantime. And our plan was to only store it for 30 days or 60 days, and a year later, here we are still trying still to figure... Still right, it is exactly what it is, out of sight, out of mind. All right, well, let's continue the walk. Okay, we can continue our... Come on, kiddos. <laughs> Y'all aren't putting this all on me. <laughs> So this is what I mean when I said outside. It's very deceiving from the outside as to to what uh, what actually goes on in here because I think if I wasn't with you, I could get lost. Oh, we've had no. to rescue a few people. We've, there's uh, there's plenty of cameras. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll see where I'm at all the time. We we have about 48 cameras going at all times. Holy cow! Uh, we have to keep by our certification. We have to keep video recordings for 90 days. Uh, we had an incident happen with our mailbox and uh, we were able to go back and, and find the exact time and date that the individual broke into our mailbox wow yeah uh and, and we have a camera what did you say robbie yeah i got one i got one robbie you said that this camera that we have we can get so close we can tell what color eyes they have nice yeah. so our camera is so uh so advanced at this point that uh, our monitor is picking up, so we need to get like a 4K monitor to uh, get the full uh, operational value out of these uh, cameras we've got installed now. And you guys just put in this new building over here, yep. see on the left. Five acres, uh, four warehouses. And continuing to grow. So I liked this room because it was just a fun looking giant pile of paper. So you go, so let's talk about that. So you mobily so go to someone's? Yeah, we have two trucks out right now that are doing mobile off shred operations around town right now. So they pick it up, they go to your spot, they shred on spot. Yeah. You can watch it through a video it. camera. Oh. And then they come back here and this makes a big giant fun pile of shred. Which you then bail. Yeah, we bail it up. Uh, gets put on to uh, a semi-trailer and uh, heads down to a facility to be further pulped. And uh, from there, I believe they'll make uh, paper plates, napkins, napkins, things of that nature. So, so what you see here now is going to be further pulped uh, so they can make those kind of products. So basically what you're saying is that at some point I could actually eat off my bank statement as a possibility. <laughs> Absolutely. <That's very> <laughs> or, or possibly use it in another room of your house. Right, 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 exactly, exactly. Well, this is pretty neat. I, I'm, you would think that you, you, Rick, you had mentioned that sometimes the dogs come back here and do a little Don't jump. Don't ask me to. <laughs> You know what? I will say this. If Mike Turtlelot was here, though, he would. he would be the first one to jump in there, and he'd be, like, swimming through it and going through it. So There you go. There you go. Well, you know what? We really appreciate you guys taking the time today to um, uh, talk with us and let us know. I think a lot of people didn't realize what you do here. Um, a lot of people know you for, well, not only for, for shredding, but uh, I would like to point out your generosity to the community. You guys, I know, are always helping. I see you at fundraisers all the time. I see you helping with things and, and donating money to causes, and, and that's a really important part to me uh, of being part of this community. So I know you are not only do you have a business here with, I think you said, 18 employees, but you also give back to the community, and that's a really big deal for people because well, it's really important. We're not for the community. We wouldn't be absolutely I mean, it's uh you know we want to give back to the people who's who's helped make us uh successful uh i think we provide a great service uh april she crunches the numbers every single uh, month <laughs> let us know whether we can uh, plan a golf tournament or not right right and robbie and i are costly we got any money for a golf tournament <laughs> <laughs> nice well again we sure appreciate you guys taking the time and uh, we look forward to coming back another time and see what you're, maybe you add another machine or something else going on. So uh, I know you're always expanding. Thanks again for the time. Thank you. Thank you.